Raw real. We about to get it started. Reality based. Show the sunshine, no scripts, no lies, just pure entertainment. So it's always annoying this chink pen because it's full as well. It's black. But uh, yeah, 5.2. Smash JT cancelled by Nick Calandra via Wix website suppression. I don't know if this is in my uh, bookmarks or not on Twix, but I might as well check. But for those who are unaware, Smash JT had a website, smashjt.com, where he created uh, Kotaku Direct. It directed, detected, inspired by uh, Cabrutus's DEI detected and Sweet Baby Ink detected. So I'm just going to check my uh, bookmarks here. Yes, here it is. I'm going to share my screen now so you can all get uh, an update on the excuse me situation. All right, here are the bookmarks. To quote Smash JT, smashjt.com, and the years of work writing articles for it has been taken down by this psycho and his followers, Nick Calandra, that is, uh, also known to me as the Calandra cunt. Continuing, quote, all of the work, gameplay, YouTube videos, industry discussion, gone. These people will go to any length to silence anyone who opposes their narrative. So, Dobby, what do you think about this uh, situation? I mean, we talked about channel suppression earlier on, and now we see a clear case of website suppression. So, first of all, do you know Smash JT? And uh, second of all, are you aware of this situation? I don't know Smash JT personally, but I do know the situation, and I know how everything played out. Once again, we're seeing the... People being silenced who come up with legit cool ideas that help us to recognize mm. different types of content, or in this case, actually help us. Mm. And yeah, this is again this idea of just bullshit suppression, like taking down somebody's livelihood uh, just because they have a valid point. I don't know, Smash AT, you know, I haven't had too many interactions with him, but. I was aware of this situation, and yeah, you're mm. right. It's all about suppression. Well, it's hopefully, not- we'll hopefully find folks and fellow creators learn from this experience. And as Third said in the chat, don't use Wix if you dissent. So, if you have any recommendations for website platforms, Third, that uh, Smash JT could potentially use, because he has been on as a guest of Reality Based, fire away and in that respect, because we have to bypass uh, suppression for the most part, and usually that means hanging together. Otherwise, we'll be hanged separately. But I I recently talked a bit about uh, the Calandra cunt when I was on Will of the Fans' channel, because Calandra was going after uh, Grums, after Grums uh, fucked Calandra over, basically pulled a a massive bait-and-switch on him through uh, Discord interaction with uh, some other person. Uh, I don't use Discord that much, and my memory is shit. But uh, yeah, the point is, Calandra is bad news. Yeah. The situation with Smash JT is proof of that, likewise with his hostile interactions with Grums. And I gotta tell you, folks, Smash JT is a established content creator. He's been there and done it for many years. This whole situation surrounding Kotaku has given him a bit of a boost but he essentially wants to make pop culture great again. He wants to make video games journalism great again. His website was a great hub for that effort, and hopefully he can get it back. But if he can't get it back, instead of, in my view, this is what I would do because I'm a lazy bastard, instead of building something new from scratch, I am sure the fandom pulse would, would recruit him as a as an article writer. I'm sure that that park place would, would take him on as, oh, absolutely. as well. Mm, absolutely. Very sharp. Because he's got, a, he's got a very valid voice and he mm. has an established group of people behind him. But once again, we see all this DEI in bullshit, which is now affecting nearly everyone. And I, I got to tell you folks, people like Smash JT and people like Golden Age Geek, who, who I interact with every week on Who TF Live, and people like Words of Paradise, they're moderates. Mm-hmm. They're, they're not 
in a sense, extremists like like me. I mean, it's literally in the name of this fucking show. I want to create a cultural desert because that's the only way you'll make pop culture great again. Because uh, I say this all the time, but I'm going to say it again. Highlight the problem, find the solution, be the change you want to see. Three steps to victory. Now, being the change... It is. But being the change you want to see, there are two different strategies. Reform or revolt. Moderate or extreme. And a, a lot of fine folks and fellow creators, like Smash JT, Golden Age Geek, and Words of Paradise, all great people, uh, want to make pop culture great again by reforming that which currently exists, which is entirely possible because of how much power and influence that fans have, that viewers have, and to a lesser extent, what content creators have, you can reform the existing system, and that's how you can make it great again. The Sonic situation with the face is a great example of that kind of reform. However, there is another way of doing things, something that I personally support. You can't reform the entertainment establishment. It is rotten to the core. The only thing you can do is, I can't really think of a better way to say this other than revolt or extreme. Basically, you create the cultural desert. That is to say, do away with the entertainment establishment, create that cultural desert, there's nothing there, and then build something to replace it. And su either support or, or publicize those who want to make pop culture great again by literally being the change that they want to see. Both paths are equally valid and they shouldn't be in opposition to one another. Because no, they we both should be mean. working together. Because that's the only way we can actually get shit done. Exactly. Instead of fighting each other, just work exactly. together. <clears throat> well, to respond to what CLS is saying, I'd rather be on Twitch than Discord. I hate sewing Discord on uh, Discord. And it's called Twix. There we go. Twix. Twix Twitter reminds me of, my, of uh, that British candy. Sorry, mm. British chocolate. <laughs> that in America they're not that civilized to come up with. So I, I know, that. I know, it's it's very, very annoying. But uh, yeah, there is that difference between the moderate approach and the extreme approach. And the moderate approach is more like we have to be better than them, whereas the extreme approach is like fuck them. If they want to use nukes against us, we'll use nukes against them. They want to use chemical weapons against us. We use chemical weapons against them. That kind of mindset. So you've got at least two different perspectives on that third step, which I think creates the, the hostile creative factions. You've got a lot of people who want to reform the existing institutions, and you've got a lot of people who want to burn it down, whether it's through one-man band campaigns or with massive creator-based corporations. Even in that respect, there are arguments. The Ripperverse debate is a great example of that. But we all have the same objective. Yeah. We all have the same ends. We just have different means of fulfilling those ends, so to speak. And our yeah. opposition, like the Calandra Cunt, like Mercanti, like uh, the likes of Khalif Sugar Bear Adams and that roided fucker who always goes back and forth with with hypno i don't know what what the fuck his name is looks like a vosh clone but <laughs> they are willing to do whatever it takes up to including doing you in because that's what doxing and swatting is a target of to encourage people to do you in and if they're willing to do that to you folks it's self-defense mutually yes. assured destruction in that respect of course, the, the epic verse is another great example of being the change you want to see from a film and, and television perspective. Thank you for that, Wild. Very, very grateful for uh, that. And I have to say that in regards to the situation with Smash JT getting websites suppressed, in my view, rather than build from scratch, get recruited by, by an existing force. That will give you the time necessary to create the articles, to have a video platform, then that'll give you the time to build back better, for lack of a bit. I hate that fucking term so much. To build back better and make something better. Cass, great to see you, Cass. I hope you're doing Hi, well. 
Wave like Cass. It's a very European thing to do. That's why I don't salute like this. I salute like this Yo, for uh, for obvious reasons. You know, every time Saturday Night Hypnosis goes live, everyone thinks I'm waving. I'm not saluting. There we go. But, uh, yeah. Do you know who Nick Calandra is? Oh, what do you what, what can you tell me about him? Because the first time I heard of him, I didn't have any idea who this I'm gonna guy say was. This in the nicest, most gentle, most kind, most diplomatic way, he's a fucking dickhead. May I ask why? Um I think as when I had my old channel and I had a comment that was most definitely from him. And I can't remember what he said, but I've hated him ever since. Mm -hmm. And if I ever find that comment again, I will paste it over to you. But let's just say it was oh not my. nice. Oh, my. If they're willing to go after <coughs> little fish in little ponds, because let's be real. Yeah, hey, I'm folks. a friendly little fish. And that should yes. piss me off. <laughs> well, I got to say, if they're willing to go after creators who are just starting, who don't really have an audience base, I mean, the establishment should concentrate their resources on taking out the big fish before going after the little fish. I'm more of a just, piranha. I'm kind well, of just, small but deadly. It just goes to show the mindset of these fuckers is retarded. If you yeah. want to do in a movement, you take out its head. You, you don't, don't take out the tail. Oh. Yeah. My goodness. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Best of luck to Smash JT. Hopefully he gets his website back. But if not... Hang together. I'm sure there are plenty of people who are willing to platform him on their websites. I mean, John De La Rose with the Fandom Pulse, John F. Trent with that park place. I don't know about bounding into comics because they recently had a hostile takeover. That's why I I talked about how John F. Trent got kicked out of his own of his own company. No one talks about that though. Don't know why. Only I seem to bring it up. But uh, yeah, good. Could take a role in bounding. You never know. Hopefully he's not kicked out once he enters. Yeah.